welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thumbna Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are continuing playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And I'm just I'm straight into it, guys. I'm not I'm not letting up at all. Whoa, God zombie after me. Rogue zombie. Um, can we dig out this grave? Is it sacrilegious? Okay. Seems like there should be something here, but. Anyway, when last we met, we had just gotten our Pegasus boots, our brand new walking boots. The boots are made for walking, baby. And, uh, we're gonna see where they go. Um, I'm trying to find my way to the desert. No idea if I'm heading in the right direction. Um, but I guess we shall see. This- oh, I thought I had the rock feather equipped. I did not. Okay, I don't know where the F we're going. Oh wait, this looks familiar. I think I found the desert once, much earlier on. Yes, alright. He did say the dark creatures of the desert would show me the way. So we're just gonna kind of explore around here. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so, whoa. The uh... Where does this go? Oh, who's this? Hello? Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. Will you give me 28 rupees for my secret? Yeah, baby. What is it? Come here. I'll rub it on you. <laughs> Whoa! What is happening? <laughs> Alright, we got a rub down. And a bonus treatment. Uh, oh, she gave me a health potion. I think when I die, I will revive. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale. They'll pump you up. No, thanks, Tracy. Once was good enough for me. Appreciate it, though. Uh, well, that was fun. Um, that's the closest thing you'll find to uh, a prostitute in Legend of Zelda, I suppose. Although, actually, even in Legend of Zelda 2, like, isn't there a woman in town that will take you into her house and then, like, your health just regenerates. I'm pretty sure that was also a, uh, you know, a, uh, a working girl. Um, you know what? Even, even, even in The Legend of Zelda, you know, people have to, um, people need a, a stress release. People, people can't just go killing monsters in Ganon non-stop without, like, a little bit of, sometimes there's tension, you know, and you just gotta... You know, get that, get that out, so. Um, is this the desert? I have no idea. Prairie desert. This looks incorrect. Okay, because I don't want to wander again, around aimlessly again, a whole bunch, I am going to look at that walkthrough again. Bear with me. Okay, I was way off. We're way out, we're way off course. I'm going to head back. Also, as I skim through that guide, I'm realizing they're showing me all sorts of seashells that we've missed, so... It is almost a certainty we are not going to get all the seashells. Which, again, this is all from memory. Uh, I'm only kind of looking things up sparingly as I need to, to kind of keep the flow of the game going. But, um... I believe when you get all the seashells, you get a more powerful sword. I believe that's how it works. And, frankly, we can let that one go. I will, uh, forego... Uh, this isn't going to be a 100% walkthrough. However, uh, like to the degree that I can get stuff, I will. Uh, like now that I've seen where those other seashells are, if we happen to pass by the area that has them, I'll go pick them up. But uh, I'm kind of not going out of my way to get some of these things, if that makes sense. Uh, just for... for time. For time. Um... Because I think watching me wander around and collect a thousand seashells is less interesting than seeing, like, the next dungeon or two, you know? Um, we did, however, miss... There was a little thing we could have gotten over here. Oh, maybe we can't. Nope, okay. I thought I could jump up and off the screen because there was a thing up there, but no, we can't do that. Um, so see, I, I even thought there was a secret that we missed there, but we did not. There, there's something to get up there, though. Gotten up there a few times and no idea what we're doing up there, and... 
There is something to get. I guess since we're so close. Ow. Should I even bother? Nah, let's go to the animal village. So we go down here. Then we just have to bust these things. Ow. There we go. Alright, we did it. On our way to the village. And then the desert is near the animal village, which now makes sense. Um, and I don't know if I took a right turn or not, but we're going with it. Those are called tech types, right? Am I mistaken in that? Um, oh, this seems to be a desert. Like, this looks like the kind of thing that would lead to a castle. I think we're not supposed to be here yet. Because we don't have a key or anything. The windfish slumbers... Oops. The windfish slumbers long. Hero's life gone. What does that mean? We also need to start, uh... Just ramming into any tree we find. Because you can get stuff like that. Didn't know that specifically was going to be there. I knew something probably would be. But there's a good chance. So I think there's a tree or two you can bang into and then you can get a seashell. Nothing there. And up here... Don't mind me, just doing some landscaping here. Ooh, bomb. And, uh, this, I guess. Keep our bracelet on. Our fashionable power bracelet. No, absolutely do not need that at all. Alright, well, we've kind of explored this zone. Uh, how the hell do I get out of here? Those, like, uh, th those look like uh, mushrooms from Mario that have become sentient and started bombing the countryside out of vengeance. <laughs> like, you want to eat me? Come and get me, punk! Okay, so I feel like that is the way to the next castle. Um, we'll deal with that. So we definitely need the ability to swim, which I think we will get between- Oh god! Those guys are electric. We'll definitely get the ability to swim, I think, between the next castle. Um, but, I'm pretty sure the animal village is to the right over there. Let's just double check over here. Make sure we're exploring everything. Okay. It's a dead end. So yeah, given all the, the water that's around us, they're pretty much telegraphing that swimming is our next major ability. Oh god, ow. Oh god, there's a bush creature. Okay, maybe we just go to the village. Lock that down so that when we eventually die out here, we respawn. Welcome to the animal village. Ah, sigh. On such a nice day, we need a song from Marin. Oh, if you... I think you can bring Marin to the animal village. You are in a desert. There's a way to get there to the south, but you might not be able to get through if that lazy walrus is in the way. Okay, so we have to go back and get Marin and then bring her, I think. I'm scheduled Da Vinci. The mermaid statue by the bay is my masterpiece. To tell you the truth, this work is not complete. The art, it is uh, difficult for you to grasp, is it not? Go away. <laughs> okay. Well, F you too! Did you know the Animal Village and May Village are sister cities? Yes, even though they aren't large enough to be called cities. Anyway, I heard from a very good source that they have a dream shrine in Mabe that it has something good inside. Is that true? It is. Uh, don't know the proper etiquette when dealing with a lady, do you? You should have brought flowers or something. Then I might be more inclined to talk with you. Oh yes, in my case, biscuits are the best. Gotta trade my honeycomb in for some hibiscus. Am I sleeping here? Nope. I wonder who lives here. They have a pool in their house, man. Jacuzzi. That's some sweet stuff. 
Alright. Hello. Hey ho, is that possibly honey you have? I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? Why not? I will I will basically give anything for anything. Um what did he say? I know that tub of goo is asleep right in the way to yarn a desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. Hey, take a little Marin and wake him up. Okay. So they're basically telling me I gotta go get Marin. I like how they're telling me many different ways I have to go get her. It's not just like one person saying it. It's like everyone in town is like, Go get Marin, you dumbass. They're like, hey dummy, you know what you need? Marin! Yeah, there he is. Zzz, Marin. Bring me Marin. Um, there is a bomb area up here, though. Let's bomb this out. Clear the way, everyone! Kaboom! Get out of here. I love that fall effect. It's actually very satisfying. Watching them, like, fall into oblivion. Um, I don't think we can make that yet. We need the grapple, or the hook shot, or whatever. Alright. I think we can use that little teleporter, though, to, like, hot travel. Or whatever. However you want to say it over to Marin. Pegasus boots make it nice to, like, just zoom through a screen. Alright. So yeah, we discovered this, like, two videos ago. In the prairies. Whee! They just launch you around town. Pretty handy for getting around. Let's go find Marin. I think she's just over here. Oh, no. Marin? She likes to go stare at the ocean all by herself. Why? Hey, I'm just a kid. Don't ask me. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, I moonwalked. How did I do that? Hey, look at that! You can moonwalk. Oh my god, that's, that's so fun. Hold on. You gotta, like, do your sword and then... I need, like, Michael Jackson's Beat It to start playing. Sweet dance moves! Anyway, uh, I don't know why that's so entertaining. But it is. Oh, landed right on him. I know exactly where Marin is, because I remember this part very clearly. It's one of my favorite parts of this game. Which is funny, because it's not combat, it's not nothing. It's dialogue! Believe it or not, one of my favorite parts of a video game is a dialogue cutscene, guys. What channel are you watching? Who am I? Oh. Hey, monkey. You like bananas? Ha ha! <laughs> yeah, that didn't give us anything. Be back. Think if we kill him? No? Hold on. Okay, you can't kill the monkey, unfortunately. But you can't scare the crap out of him. Alright, this part we're gonna pay attention to. Oh, Link! I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? Yes. This is such a peaceful, serene image. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Terran says, there is nothing beyond the sea. But I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart skipped a beat. I thought, this person has come to give us a message. Yikes. A lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm just saying nothing. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish... Uh, to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. She just wants to see the world. Hey, are you listening? Link, are you listening to me? Yes. 
I want to know everything about you. Er, uh, ha ha ha. Uh, the walrus wants me to go to him. Doesn't matter. I will go with you to him. <laughs> we got married! <laughs> <laughs> you got Marin. Is this your big chance? Chance for what? Oh, we got the really heroic music. Oh, what did I do? Come on, Marin. Um, obviously the Legend of Zelda always has this sort of, like, um, budding little romance between, like, Link and Zelda, or in this case, Link and Marin, and obviously it's a kid's thing, like, nothing will happen, but, uh, at the same time, it's sort of, uh, it's endearing. wonder if I could... No. I say, I wonder if I could get in there, but no, we cannot. I'm also getting low on bombs. I'd have to go buy some at that store that I'm not blacklisted at. See, this is why you don't want to get blacklisted to stuff, guys. Nothing good can come of it. Since we are here, I'm gonna go get this seashell. Um, is there a faster way to... No. I think you just gotta walk around. Six ninety-three. We're almost at that. Uh, oh, you bastard. We're almost at the uh, what you call it. Okay, I think we just dig. There we go. Found a seashell. Um, one thing that was difficult looking up, uh, like, walkthroughs for this game is that if you look up Link's Awakening, you find a Nintendo Switch version. Which, to be t totally honest, I'm glad they remade the game. Um, for me, if I'm gonna play it, I'm always gonna go back to the original, the OG. Um, I think the style of the new game is good enough... But, I mean, as someone who just grew up on pixel art games, you know, like, I think pixel art looks the best. Like, right now, going around it, on the web is, um, I keep seeing ads for their redoing Metal Slug. Uh, and they're, like, showing the original pixel art, and then they're showing, like, 3D graphics. They're like, look at the improvement! And I look at it, and I'm like, the pixel art looks a thousand times better. And if you look at the comments on those videos, I keep seeing these ads on Facebook. Um, all the comments are like, yeah, the pixel art looks way better. Like, way better. And it's just like, it's remarkable how much studios still think, just make it 3D and it will look better. It, honestly, it looks like crap. It just looks like crap. Um, I will say, though, that the Link's Awakening, the graphics... It does look nice, because they very they stylized it, they didn't just turn it 3D. And I think that's the way to do it if you're going to do it. Um, but, uh, truthfully, like, these graphics, I personally think, are better. Uh, and, again, that's my opinion of this, but that's, that's where I stand with, uh, you know, uh, Link's Awakening. But I like that they remade it, because this game being lost to time would be sad, so it's nice that it's, like, a, like kids nowadays can play Link's Awakening on the Switch. So, I mean, I approve of that for sure. Um, it's the Lazy Walrus. Shall we give him a little surprise? Let's do it. He's like, yeah, yeah! Marin came to sing for me. And he got so happy he fell in the water and died. I uh, certainly woke with a start. Um. Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always. Haha. -ha. Link, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? Definitely, babe. Check you later. I got dude stuff to do. A lot of dude stuff in here. Don't know what that stuff is precisely, but I will figure it out, man. 
Annoyance, you are only getting in the way. Oh yeah? How annoying is this? Gotta hit him right in the face. Doing pretty good at not getting hit, I'm shocked actually. A few of those look like close calls. Ooh, that was easy. You've got the angler key. Now if we can only find out where that goes. Sometimes you get the key before you have any idea where you're going. Sea bears foam. Sleep bears dream. Both end in the same way. Crash. No idea what that's talking about. Anyone else? Oh, a couple of guys. There we go. Alright. I think this might be a cave that you fall down into from somewhere higher. There's sometimes hidden stuff in here. Yeah, no idea. Kill those things. Hey, these are, again, from like Mario 2. <laughs> the cactus guys. They're not quite the same guys, but there's like a lot of weird resemblance between Mario 2 characters and characters in, uh, in this game here. Again, I like to believe it's by design. I like to believe that Nintendo knew what they were doing. Right, with, with the dreaming windfish, right? I mean, like, again, you can kind of see where this is going. It's, uh, the dreamland. Creatures of the dreamland come real. Oh god, oh god. Was that worth it? I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. I need a heart, man. Oh, here comes the windfish. Hoot hoot! The shape of the key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Go now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top and you will reach your goal. Okay. Like one hitting those guys. The desert is actually very small. Hmm. Okay. Well, desert completed, I guess. Should try and find that ledge and see about falling down it. It's like right over here. Yep, that's it. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's fine. I I was kind of hoping the desert would be bigger. For some reason, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I guess I don't really remember the desert at all from being a kid. All the animals are listening to her beautiful music. Oh, Marin, we love you, Marin. What a what a just lovely young lady. Actually, wait, I don't want to do that. I was closer to the waterfall when I was at the Animal Village. I think there's one or two more of those teleportation things. There's one up in the mountains. And then... Yeah, the, the desert's right at the edge of the screen, so there's nothing else there. We have the mountains to explore, and then, like, one other zone, potentially. We're making good progress, though. So we're only on, like, Castle 4. Oh god, don't hit those things. Oh my god. Oh god! These things are so annoying because you can't actually attack them or hurt them. Uh, later on, I think if you have, like, the bow and arrow or something, you can obviously kill them. Ah, oh, Jesus, you jerk. Die! You should get a free fairy every time you kill one of those guys. Get out of here. Now, I don't know how to get to them. The, he talked about getting to the top of the waterfall. How? Can you give me a hint as to how to actually do that? Okay, you know what? Walk through time because, again, we don't want to waste. We don't want to waste time here. 
Okay, the walkthrough kind of falls apart because it talks about a color dungeon, which we don't have because we're not playing the color version. Oh, I like that he can, like, dig these up really fast right now. That's super handy. Um, I th think we need to go... Uh, I lost the power thing. The power thing is probably the, the best add-on because it just makes you more powerful. The acorn sucks and has crappy music. Um, but let's see what we can make happen here. So I have to find my own way a little bit to this waterfall. I think it's just up here? Somewhere? Oh god. Oh my god! It's gonna kill me! These pigmen are trying to kill me! Need hearts, man. Well, there's one. Alright, we've recovered a bit. I think we also have enough seashells to get some kind of tree tr Oh, we're- you know what, we're- that's way more shells than I thought, wow. Hmm. I- now I'm kind of wondering if we can get all the shells, I don't know. I think- I have no idea how close we are. We have- oh, we only have 11. I think you need 50. Yeah, I don't- uh, I don't think it's happening. Um, okay, if we go up here... Where do we need to go? We'll check the phone booth if we need to. Yeah, we need to go, like, higher up. What's this guy gonna say? Bring, bring! This is Lyria. I heard from Grandma that there's something hidden behind the falls in Tall Tall Mountains. Does that help? by After we get to Tall Tall Mountains... Um, so it's over there. Face shrine, face shrine. What's the face shrine? Hmm. Where's Tall Tall Mountains? Oh, Tall Tall Heights. Oh, over there. Oh, okay. Over near the kind of like graveyardy area. Okay, I can get over there. I got it. I'm on top of things. I guess you have to do a lot of backtracking in this game, but it's not too bad because the world is pretty quick to traverse. So I think I can just shortcut up here. You definitely gonna have to learn all the the shortcuts. Okay, yeah. So if I keep going. Whoa. And we want to go up here? Yeah. Oh, so I guess I did want to use that teleporter thing. Oh, well, whatever. You know what? Again, for, for having not played this for as many years as it's been, it's hard to remember where to go for most of- 90% of all this stuff. Just kind of figuring it out as I go. Yes, okay, here we go. Tall, tall heights. We made it. Check our map. Okay, so now... Oh, is this a lone pig man? Let's murder him where there are no witnesses. Let's see what we got going on here. I guess this is like back in the swamp where we like level two early days. Okay, we will go up there. We could also go up here. Oh wait, I think we gotta do this first. Do -do 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 I mean, we're in a totally new area, so we're gonna find whatever we need over here. Yes. Sort of. Daddy had tech tights. Okay, we've regenerated most of our health. Yes, yeah, this is what I was looking for. The walkthrough did show this, it just didn't show how to get to this part. 
Perfect. Oh, and here's a- here's like a teleporter. I'm just gonna pop in it to make sure that we lock it down. Because <laughs> we definitely want that thing in our repertoire. Of quick travel zones. Alright. It's funny how they don't let you pick which zone you end up in. They're just like, go in until you fall into the hole that you want to end up in. Just keep falling until it makes sense. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the power to, um, swim in the next cave. And then, I think the grip shot will be next. Or the hook shot or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Can't- ah, oh, and he dropped a heart too! Or the grass did. Oh well, whatever, we got our heart. Okay, have we explored this area? I want to make sure there's no, like, unexplored squares. Okay, so now it's time to go up. And then we gotta, like, drop down on top of that waterfall. Eat a rock to the face, buddy! Ooh! All right, into the mountains. Let's see what we got going on up here. Okay, a whole lot of nothing. Damn, we just got power too. Now the power lets me pick up rocks faster. I really like that little Triforce piece. Six ninety-five. We almost have our uh, getting close to our what should we call it? Oh. The heck? Um. Oh god. There we go. It took me a second to think about how to push those. Down you go, down you go. Forget the acorn, man. That bloody acorn. Just double checking. Uh, there's a heart piece in there. No idea how to get it. Mm, we can probably Pegasus this. Oh, never mind. I want that other door. Fifty rupees. Very nice. Pretty sure the bow is the last thing you have to purchase in this game. Help me! Help me! Alright, buddy. I'm coming. Hold your horses. Slimes and bats. I had a feeling that was gonna be a, a slime one. I don't know why. I mean, I- I know why, because I played this game a thousand years ago. Yep. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. Leave the door open. You know what is crazy? We're only at, uh, four- like, three instruments. We're working on the fourth. Um, again, the first two dungeons together took about an hour and a half, but I feel like now we're doing about an hour per dungeon. Uh, Papal just, uh, got lost. Just like he said, now I'm so famished I can't move. Can you give me some vitals? Yes, this pineapple is so delicious. I'm going to eat the pineapple right now. Bon appetit! Nom, 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 nom. Ah, that's... This isn't meant to be a reward. Here, take this flower. It's a hibiscus. Oh, I know exactly who wants that. He's gonna nosh on a pineapple. You know what? I would nosh on a pineapple if I had one right now, too. I get it, Pops. Now he's gone. Found his way home, I hope. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's like taking an hour per... Uh, dungeon. I think possibly, like, the last two or three go much quicker. 
I don't really know, actually. No, I'm not too sure. We have explored a lot of interesting locales together. That's as far as you can go without being able to swim. Alright, here we go! Whoa! Alright, let's do it. Level 4, Angler's Tunnel. Oh, we're gonna need our shield for these guys. Boink. Boink. We're definitely getting swimming from this, uh, from this dungeon. Oh, let's, uh... Take, uh, some free bombs. Yeah, you don't really use bombs as much as you would think in this game. Like, you do use them a little bit, but not a ton. Bonk. Kind of feels like bombs... Bombs and the bow were, like, early Legend of Zelda items, and they just don't give them to you as much, or they don't make them as central in the later Zeldas. Oh my god, they don't have to tell me this every time. I'm pressing, like, the skip button, but it won't let me skip. There we go, get our key. You can open a locked door. You don't say. Well, that rupee just goes right to the bottom of the ocean. Guess I need to be able to jump here. Before you can swim, you must learn to jump. Do you have a key? No, I don't. I wish there was a little key counter in, like, the bottom, uh... HUD, you know? That'd be- that would be handy to be able to tell if you had a key. But I guess you can't have everything you want in life. I uh, can't get there. Okay, nope. Mm, what do we got going on here? A bunch of these guys. Found our way to the key. Oh no, whatever this is. Fragment of a stone slab. I didn't- you know, I- th these fragments are supposed to give you hints and stuff. In most dungeons, I don't even know where you're supposed to read them. I feel like most dungeons you just figure it out by just, like, I guess there it is. But yeah. Um, boom, boom. Weeha! Oh god! <laughs> didn't jump far hard, hard enough. Oh. Glad I got this map. Okay, yes, yeah, so we can kind of see the dungeon. Woohoo! Hmm, I guess you're supposed to use bombs to break those, like, breakable ones here. Let's give it a shot. Let's rock as many cracks. There we go. Small key. Whoa, watch out. Alright. Oh, you're gonna be a dick and land right there, aren't you? Oh my god. Back off. Give me heart. <laughs> ah. Oh god. Man, they make that tricky, don't they? Shoot, I think I placed an extra bomb. Whoa! You know what's interesting is I think this game is one of the few games in existence where B makes more sense as jump than A. A is supposed to be like your sword, right? And normally A is your sword and B is your shield, or B is like the, you know, gloves to like pull up, like the power bracelet or it's Pegasus boots or whatever. And so, as a result of B being, like, the utility button, A is not supposed to be jump. But in every single other game in existence where you can jump, if they made B jump, it just feels wrong. Like, if in Mario, B was jump and A was run, that would feel incredibly wrong. Um, 
It's just kind of funny how, how it works out that way. As I think about it. I mean, you can choose if you want. You can make... That's, that's one of the neat things about the items in this game, is you can make any item B and any item A, which is kind of cool. There's some flex interesting flexibility there. Oh, God. Oh! The slowdown! The slowdown is real! Okay, gotta go... Ha! Ha! Ah, there we go. Out of the way, weird creatures. Satan spawn. Where the hell these things are. Okay, B. The only time I make A jump is when I'm doing, like, a Pegasus run, because I hold B to run, and then when I get up to speed, I switch to A to jump. But that's the only time I do that. Oh! God. Do I have a key for this? I do. Ah, dick. Should I go in here? I guess so. Yeehaw! Oh, wait. Okay, so this is not... This is like, uh, you've screwed up and you end up in that pool water kind of zone. Oh god, back off! Be more annoying. Oh, there goes that key. Oh, but does it go into the... Does it go over here? Oh, but we can't swim yet. <laughs> Alright, we, we gotta get the ability to swim very soon then. It must be... Like, incoming. Imminent. That's the word I'm looking for. Ah, you stupid slimes. De definitely need a key. I don't think I can get over there with the Pegasus boots. Oh, glint of the tile will be your guide. Okay. Glint of the tile? What are you talking about? Um, let's see. What room have we not checked? There's a chest dead below us. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> oh, maybe we put a bomb there? Oh. Oops. Oh. Ugh, I'm just trying to, like, get through these guys without having to switch back to my sword. I guess I should just switch back to my sword. Ah, oh, the power thing! Huh. Hmm, okay. I mean, I guess... I'd be willing to look up a tutorial for this castle if we don't figure it out shortly. Again, just in the interest of time, really. More than anything. Not because I can't do it. Also because I can't do it. A little bit. Hmm, yeah, there's no area to bomb. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I am a little confused. So we do have to be over there. Hmm. Oops. 
These guys keep respawning, which is annoying. So they don't like killing enemies, but I kind of wish they would stay dead. There we go. We can't do anything there. Wait, can we get over... Oh, maybe we can get over there. Okay. I think, um... I think I just was too quick to think we were kind of trapped in that, uh... Oh, God. In that, uh... area that we were at. Okay, jump. Jump and kill. I think there was a way to, to get to what we needed to get to. I mean, there's always a way. These Zelda games are very good at not soft-locking you, despite having rather complex dungeons at times. Whoa! Um, alright. Kill these guys. Ooh, rupees. Ooh, rupees. Very nice. All right, yeah, so over here... Kill this guy. Down he goes. Yeah, over here. Oh, okay. I just didn't look close enough. I guess I kind of, like, looked at this area and was like, Oh, I guess we can't go this way. But we totally can. these things get out of the way. Thank you. These things are so bloody annoying. There we go. All right. All right. We're back on track. We're back on track. Oh, no. It was a trap. It was a mimic. Well, there's the nightmare. Thing. Oops. <laughs> Does hopping on all these do anything? Ah, there we go. Okay, no. There's a secret here. That one. Then that one. Nope. Okay. That. Wait, what? That one? And that one. And that one? Nope. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this without the, uh, the swimming thing. And this one? Nope. Yeah, because there's no way we can jump to the far one. Okay, we need the swimming. We need to be able to swim. You got a small key! You can open a locked door! Huzzah. whoop de frick I gotta backtrack here. Can we jump around this guy? Nope. <laughs> At least we have the acorn, so when we jump in the water, it doesn't actually cost us any life. Make that jump though. And now that we have a key, we can open this door, which is going to give us the scuba gear. And we'll be on our way. Oh, hello. I don't know if there's a good tactic for beating this guy, but he seems pretty easy. I thought I had to hit him in the butt. I think you can just hit him anywhere. His butt might be particularly sensitive, but you can shoot him. Or attack him with a sword in the face, too. Um, okay, this one. And go! Get in there! Jesus. Like Indiana Jones here. They're pulling out all the stops to kill me. You've got the flippers! If you press the B button while you swim, you can dive underwater. 
No, you can just- and now it's just a passive ability. I can just swim now. That's good. Kill this guy. Ah. Dick. Ah, you dick. Fuck. There we go, alright. can get this thing in peace. We don't even need the heart. So this swims over here. But... Let's go over here first. So I think this follows the same pattern. Get over here! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, you can't actually attack in the water. Duh, die! Woohoo! Hey, it's like a thwomp. It's like literally a thwomp. <laughs> I like their- how they like... are like looking for you and they like smile when they get you. Ah, ah, ah. Well, that was tricky. Uh, where are we? Nightmare key. Boom shagalaga. Okay, I think we can just go to the nightmare. If, if I've learned anything, is that there's always a couple chests in these dungeons that are pretty much just uh, not for show, but they're like rupees. They're just rupees. They're not essential. Satisfying to step on those switches. Oh, I gotta go back and get the uh, key from the pit. Oh, just trying to duck. 50 rupees! Very nice! Okay, clear these guys out. Key falls in. To go over here and get it. Oh god, slime! Jesus. Once they like corner you and like they're on top of you, they can actually do quite a bit of damage. Monkey! Pretty easy. All right, and then we need it for. Yeah, I wish my sword was always as powerful. The rocks. I think I can just swim under these guys to avoid them. Makes life simple. Boom! All right. Oh, there's even, uh, like, these are, like, fish from Mario, too, man. <laughs> this is such a Mario-inspired game, it's hilarious. In, like, a really weird way, you know? We did it. Boom, boom. Oh, if only you could use the power sword on the boss. Now that would be awesome. Oh, uh, maybe you can. Bloop, bloop, glub, glub. Ugh, food. Bloop, bloop, glug, glug. Hey, my sword is powered up. Did I just defeat him? <laughs> wow, that's the easiest boss in history. He didn't do anything. I think he summoned one or two, like, little fish to attack me. I do not remember that boss at all, actually. That is hilarious. We got the harp! The surf's harp. Surf's up, dude! I'm doing like the, the devils, like the pinky and the index finger. Kind of like rock in the hand thing. 
Whoa. Bay. Your road goes, whoops, to the bay. See, now we can swim, though, so we don't even have to go this route, but I'm just curious. That's gonna, like, take me out of here. But now that I can swim, I kinda wanna go for a swim. We got in here. Hello, fish man. I am Manbo, child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? Ah, you don't have an ocarina, so glub glub. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'll get one. Mark my words, I will get one. I guess there's not much to see around here. Just double check the other side here. Glub, 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 glub. Anything cool over here? Nice to be able to swim, but... Kinda moves a bit slow. Ah, here we go, here's something. Cave. Oh, I just dove under the water and got a piece of heart. Cool. Anything else over here? Nothing there. What else we got down here? Anything? Oh, you can, like, get to this. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, let's check out the stairs. I think those were gonna lead somewhere, too. I think it just leads right over there. Then we can teleport out of here. Let's try it. It's funny the dungeons that you remember and those you don't. I mean, there was a few that- I mean, the first two I played a hell of a lot of. Then there's like that lull between the second and the third. So it's like I don't remember the third nearly as much, or that one that we just finished. I don't remember that one super clearly. Um, I kind of want to see if I can go over those waterfalls, but I guess it's too late. We're already out of the water. Um, anyway, um, you know what? Uh, I think we're going to call it here for this video. Uh, as we've been doing, we're doing about one dungeon a video. I mean, we have like four more videos. I swear I think these pick up in speed. Once we get another item or two, I think it goes faster, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, guys, I hope you've been enjoying this. Maybe nobody's watching this series. I'm probably, at this point, my guess is publishing these videos along with other videos. So we're just filling out some time with some Zelda while still carrying on with the quest. If you have been enjoying the video, like the video, subscribe, all this stuff, and I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves, and peace.